I want to share with you this morning an honor that has come to one of our Minnesota deacons. Diaconal ministry is about service, responding to the human needs of the poor and sick, but it's also about recognizing the gifts of the poor and challenging others to recognize them. And it's about advocacy, pushing to change unjust policies and structures, and speaking for those who have no voice. Our presiding bishop says, and I quote, deacons are called to be the nags of the church. <laughs> like the importunate widow pounding on the judge's door every day until she gets justice. Every second year, the North American Association for the Diaconate, an Anglican organization for deacons, hosts a conference. This year, our presiding bishop, Catherine Jeffett Shorey, spoke at the conference and presented certificates of recognition to 25 deacons from the US and Canada, selected for their demonstrated commitment to the ministry of the diaconate. One of those 25 deacons is our own Jan Doherty, who serves at St. Mark's Cathedral in an outstanding pastoral, liturgical, and homiletic ministry. Jan has been a deacon in this diocese for over 17 years and is known for always asking those diaconal questions. Where is the good news going unheard? Who are the hungry in spirit? whose needs and hopes and concerns are not being addressed? Who among our congregation's members have the gifts that could lead toward forming communities of faith and transformation among coworkers or fellow commuters or soccer parents? How can the faithful be mobilized to do and speak good news? Anne Jen has had a passionate concern for the future of the, dio of the diaconate in this diocese. Future deacons can be found, and we need to look for them, among our congregations, among the marginalized populations with whom deacons work, among immigrant populations who know the needs of their people best, and among those who are prodding the world to wake up to the suffering implicit in our care of creation, to understand how poverty is intimately linked to environmental damage. The conference shows well in their designation of Jan as a deacon who carries out Christ's work in our midst. She represents the ministry of deacons at its best. Unfortunately, Jan had a family conflict that prevented her from being present at the conference at which she was recognized and at which the Most Reverend Je Catherine Jeffrey Shorey personally gave those honored a certificate of recognition. So this afternoon, it is my privilege to act on behalf of our presiding bishop to present this certificate of recognition. Jan, would you come up here? I present this certificate of recognition to you, Jan, here before your bishop, your fellow deacons, and representatives of the Diocese of Minnesota. The certificate reads as follows. Awarded to Jan Doherty in recognition of her ministry of diaconal formation and as advocate for justice. Congratulations. <laughs> 